today I'm coming with a upgrade on the rig and I'm going to take you along on the journey I think um, a lot of you who are camping may want to invest in this and what I have is I'm, I'm going to swing this around it to see what it is right here so what this does it sends a signal to your phone or to the monitor that is included with it to let you know how much uh, propane is in your tank no picking it up or tapping it to hear the sounds this gives you a very accurate from what I seen in different videos that this gives you a very accurate reading so what comes in this package this is uh, by Mopika LP tank and you have one monitor and two sensors it includes a one-year warranty so we're going to swing this over you have two sensors in here you have this little monitor here that you can uh, mount inside your rig and then what these brackets here are for on some I don't know about all but on some LP tanks that these little clips will raise it up enough so that you can put the, uh, the sensors underneath your tank so I'm going to get re ready to start doing that I'm going to take you along for the journey um, I've already taken our cover off so I have to disconnect here make sure that these are off they are Oops, okay, it happens, it happens. Put that to the side. And I'm going to proceed to the next step. Be right back. All right, so on the back of the sensors, they are magnets, magnets. This is the monitor that goes inside, inside the rig, right there. It has a pull tab to uh, activate the battery. And the battery is one of those uh, watch type batteries. And if you need to change, ever change that out, you see these little slots there. Just uh, one here, one up top, one up top. Just pry that open to get to the battery. And here you have four each of these little clips. And this is going to go down. I'll show you how that goes on your uh, tank uh, mount plate, I guess if you want to call it that. And a little bit of adhesive to apply. They said a small drop at the center. Small drop at the center. So I will be right back. So I did a little check and it's a magnet. I'll clean that up though and uh, take the tape off. A little, little bit of glue. I'm clumsy today. Actually, I'm tired. Got off work and uh, straight here. So and I'm going to put it down like this. I'm going to clean this up first. I was able to take the tank and put it on top here and it went down perfect. Uh, I guess not all tanks will have that uh, what is it that spacing down there at the bottom. But evidently I have enough clearance where I can put that there. So what I'm getting ready to do next is I'm getting ready to clean this up before applying. Be right back. 
All right, so I'm about to apply a small bead on the back of the sensors. Oops, sorry, missed that. And on the back of this one here. that's good enough and then we're going to take it over there each one and place it in spot here's the first one and here is the second one yeah I guess that's good enough right there now if for some reason you need to use uh, one of these on the edge here so you would have the clip go on like that okay and then you would tap it down with a hammer mallet something so that uh, this would get down make it snug and that would raise your tank up enough for it to sit over that. But I don't need them. So that part is done. And I'm going to put everything back together because uh, that is pretty much done. Okay, so I, I got everything back together. On mine, my gauge is right here. So I can turn this here to either side this little arrow indi indicator right here lets me know which one I'm going to and then when I open up the tank you'll see that turns green that's just let me know that I got propane doesn't tell me how much so with this new system that I just installed it's going to tell me exactly uh, how much is in each tank and you can select um, you can assign a number to each tank driver side passenger side whatever you want so that uh, just by looking at the phone you'll know on here it has uh, tank number one tank number two so that's what it's going to be. Tank number one is going to be my. Uh, I guess if I'm looking at the rig, we'll we'll make tank number one. Tank number one, the passenger side. Tank number two is going to be the driver's side. So I will get back to you. Um, I'm going to show you where I'm going to install this here. This is going to go above my Level Mate Pro. So that's where this is going to go, up there. So I will be back once again, get, get it all installed, and hopefully we'll show you how this all works. I am back, and I had done a couple of updates and wasn't able to really show you the finished product because the product was actually on the phone. So, I have my lovely wife, Corinne, is going to help me out, you guys. Hi, y'all. The product. So, on the wall, I mounted my Level Pro Mate. And I also mounted my Mopika uh, Tank Check. So that I can see what... The level of the tanks are this is just a visual that you just push and it tells you how your tanks are so we got one that's there and there they're just visual like your other gauges but on the phone I didn't get a chance to show you what it looks like on the phone so for the level pro mate it's telling me from left to right it's perfect 
and it's telling me I need to go up less than an inch in the front, which we're not worried about. And you have two views. You tap the white here, and it changes it front to back also. So that's for the Level, Pre Level Mate Pro. The second one is, pull that up, the propane tanks. So this is what it looks like and it goes to your phone and the best thing about this is that when you click on it it gives you a percentage of what's left in your tank you can pick this up on Amazon uh, about 80 bucks it is well worth it you can do the other one 100 percent and this is the Mopika product and it's a tank propane tank check you, you search that on Amazon and you'll come up and look for Mopika so those are the things I wasn't able to show you I hope you will leave a link in the description below so hope look, you guys like that look at me I'm proud of you honey <laughs> we just went on a crazy ride with the hills but, but y'all look what we brought back I don't know why I wasn't fully stocked, but I'm going to make sure that don't happen the next trip. So y'all stay tuned. Okay, guys, since Vic went out and put on the propane gauges and took care of the leveling and all that, so now I'm going to cook us something to eat. It's about probably lunch slash dinner time. So I'm going to make a couple of things. Um, the first thing being I got some catfish. So I was going to deep fry this, but I got a taste for the smoky um, grill flavored fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make Vic and I some chicken and some... Um, some catfish so with the catfish I've already cleaned up everything I'm going to put it in here and season it up so I got one these are some pretty big catfish and I'm gonna put one packet uh -uh, I'm going to get two things of foil and just do them together. Make it as easy as we can make it. So I'm going to I'm gonna go do two of them at the, at the same time. So I'll get one in that one. This is another pretty nice size piece of catfish. Um, like I said, we're going to have this on the grill in these packets. Just to get the grill uh, smoky flavor. And, and what I'm going to put on here is going to be a little uh, lemon pepper. We'll do these lemon uh, flavor. A little lemon pepper on both sides. Just to give it that good lemony smoke flavor. I always put a little onion powder and, um, and garlic powder is the garlic powder so on um, these I also like to add a little extra black pepper with the grinder that gives it a little more kick to it and Victor like his hot spicy I should say so we just add a little more pepper to that I also like to add a little uh, parsley, parsley flakes. Uh -uh, I don't want to put too much. You don't want too much of one seasoning. Um, also, I forgot. I'm gonna. I have some lemon. So what I'm gonna do is squeeze a little lemon juice over these, as um, as well as some butter in there. I have my lemon left. 
and this won't this won't take too long i'm after i get everything seasoned i'm gonna go out and uh start to grill up and get it get it nice and hot i always like to make a couple meals in one so that way i can sit down and eat don't have to make another meal today because we we can eat either the fish or the chicken or vice versa get all these seeds out the lemon and just squeeze some lemon on these that lemony flavor i always like to leave the lemon in there just to give it that flavor a little lemon on both. And then some butter. You can't go wrong with a little butter. I'll put a little butter on both. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip these over and do the exact same thing. Okay, so I have them both seasoned up. And I'm going to seal up the packet here. Because once it gets to cooking, I'll open the packet so the smoky flavor can get to the fish. But I want to seal it so it can go ahead and cook all the way through. Um, you know that normally it don't take fish that long to cook, so you don't have a lot of cooking to do. But I want to get it nice and sealed and, sing, and um, steam, get to cooking, and then open it to get the smoky flavor. The thing I'm going to so, do is um, some chicken, chicken thighs. We have two of them, and which those aren't that big, so what I'm going to do is put them both in there, and then we both can... Um, eat out of one packet if, if depending on who wants the chicken so I already got my chicken cleaned up these are like I said chicken um, chicken boneless chicken thighs is what these are and we're gonna do some garlic Some onion powder, pepper, a little salt. I don't do a lot of salt because y'all know salt not good for us. So I always just do a little, a little bit. Of course, good old parsley flakes. And, uh, for the chicken, I'm gonna turn this over and get some uh, seasoning. We have some seasoning salt here, which again, I won't use a lot because of salt. We'll just do a little bit. And so then for this, I'm gonna turn these over and um, season them on this side also. I want to seal this up. Oh, I know what. I said I was going to put a little olive oil on it. Instead of butter, I'm going to use this extra virgin olive oil on the chicken. And this chicken will get the same type of a smoky flavor as the fish. Alright, so... I got my package together. I'm gonna seal this up so it can cook. Also, now halfway through the cooking, I'm gonna open up the package so we can get that smoky flavor. But why is it, it's initial cook? I'm gonna seal it up so it, the chicken can get nice and tender, and then the fish also. It don't take that long for the fish. So y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna go out and get this grill started. And now dinner is served. The fish was a little so tender it came in, it came out in pieces. But it is definitely done. It was tender, the chicken was tender. I gotta make Vic eat his vegetables. So green beans it is. 
and um, I'll let I'll let him tell you how this meal was. So, Mr. Small, looks like your plate's empty. You you want to tell the folks how the meal was? It's high. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> And there's more left, so he can have a little more if he want to. Look at this. Show him your plate. Look, let me zoom in on this, y'all. So see, zoom in on my yeah, plate. look, look, look at there, y'all. I was just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. All right. Sounds like it was a plus. <laughs>